So before jumping in and hitting some shots, I want to just run through the three heads that Callaway are offering this Paradigm lineup. So we're going to start off with Paradigm X. So this is the largest profile of the three heads that are available, 460cc, but very much in a stretched bat fashion. So from the front to the back of the club, it's pretty long stretch, big footprint down by the golf ball, filling you with quite a bit of confidence. So this is what Callaway is saying is going to create the most highest MOI, so their most forgiving of the three options. We've got a weighted screw at the back, which is fixed, and that's five grams. So there's no adjustability in this head. So maybe ideal for a golfer with a slightly slower club head speed, trying to get some launch, trying to keep some spin on the shots to maximize their distance. And the X version is also a little bit of a draw bias built into it. Now, when I sat this down by the golf ball, it didn't look really closed at a dress, which was quite refreshing. So you wouldn't expect it to be a draw driver. But what Callaway have done there is they've made the lie angle of the golf club now at 60 degrees. The other two are at 57 degrees. So three degrees more upright is going to help that face point more left through the face plane tilt, which is obviously going to try and promote more of that draw bias. So the loft offerings in the X is a nine degree, a 10.5 and also a 12. So then we move into the standard paradigm. This is probably the club that's going to suit probably most golfers out there. So this is more high launch, low spin, and a little bit more of a neutral characteristics in the golf club. Again, 460cc, but not quite stretched back as we saw in the X version. And then flipping the club over, we've got a 15 gram weight in the back, which is in a sliding track. So we can move that into the heel or the toe, or really even leave it into the center of the golf club, depending on maybe your strike pattern to help with putting some mass behind the strike location, maximizing your ball speeds, limiting your gear effect, ultimately keeping those drives a little bit straighter. And the loft offerings in this is a nine degree, 10.5 and also a 12. And then finally, we move into the Paradigm Triple Diamond. So probably the daddy of the old three drivers now, isn't it? Something that maybe we all strive to maybe get into and love to sort of hit. Always excites me, this particular driver. Adjustability in the bottom of the club, we've got two screws. We haven't lose a sliding track, but we've got two screws. One at 14 grams, one at two grams. They can be flipped backwards and forwards, which I'm going to do in the test. We're going to look at that in a minute. More of a compact tour inspired head is what Callaway is saying. 450cc, but very much in a squat position. So much tidier down by that golf ball in terms of size of the head and the footprint. We lose a little low going on the top edge there for an alignment, so a very clean look at a dress as well. So Callaway is saying this is more of a workability built into this golf club. It's the lowest launching and the lowest spinning of the three heads, so maybe ideal for that golfer who's got some real quick speed, maybe a good central strike location is trying to get a very much a piercing flight lowering some spin. And the loft availability in this is an eight degree, a nine degree, and a 10.5. Okay, so let's jump into hit in some shots and I'll give you some feedback as we run through these shots that we're hitting. So we started off with the Paradigm X, so the largest footprint, the highest launch and more of that mid sort of spin characteristics with a little bit of that draw built in. First impressions down by the golf ball is it's pretty big footprint behind the ball. It does fill you with quite a bit of confidence down there. And as I mentioned, when I pop this down, knowing that it was a draw bias golf club, it doesn't look like a draw bias golf club. Now, I've already got a 10.5 loft that I was hitting. Unfortunately, I didn't have a nine degree available, but I wanted to keep it set. I could have lofted that down, but I wanted to keep it set at 10.5 just to see how that face actually sat. And it sat a, a tiny bit toed in, but not what I was expecting, for maybe from a more of a draw bias golf club. Now, as I started to hit the shots, definitely saw more of that left bias with this particular golf club. I mean, I don't need any help hitting the ball left, so this was definitely going a little bit more left, and it was definitely going high. Now, obviously, the 10.5 is going to create that difference as well. A little bit of a higher spin as well, but definitely in a club that would sort of climb a little bit more for me with my speed. So more suited, maybe that golfer who would struggle maybe with some speed and maybe getting that ball launching. This is something that they would probably go into with more of that weight pulled back with that stretched sort of profile of the head. That will help with getting that ball launching nice and high. Forgiveness levels, this is the highest Callaway is saying between all three drivers and it did feel pretty forgiving to be honest when I was hitting those shots. Now maybe with the sound of the golf club with the X, it sounded, I was quite surprised, it sounded louder than what I was expecting with all obviously this 360 car and now tons of carbon, there's hardly any titanium in the club. I was expecting to be really sort of muted and sound. There's a little bit more of a crack to this with the X compared to maybe the other two drivers. And then moving into the standard paradigm, as I say, this maybe will suit most golfers out there. Adjustability on the back, a little bit more of that high launch, lower spin characteristics. The head just doesn't look quite stretched back as what we saw with the X. It's still a 460cc. This one sat really nice for me. Just started to sit a little bit square. We've just got that little Chevron logo on the top just to help with a little bit of alignment. So if you do like that, then this one might be a little bit more suited in terms of a look. Now, as I started to hit this, definitely saw a little bit more of a penetrating ball flight. Bearing in mind, this is obviously a nine degree now, so we're gonna see that against that 10.5. But a flight that was a little bit more neutral, wasn't trying to turn left on 
me. As I say, the line goal with this is 57 degrees, so it's three degrees flatter than what we saw with the X version. So it's gonna promote a little bit more of a neutral sort of ball flight biased. Now I struck this one pretty well, to be honest, but what I really did see what was very consistent was the spin number. I was sitting around that 2,200 for most of those shots. It was just one way it crept up to maybe two six as I just lost my strike a little bit low in that heel. But some really good control, that spun, spin number there, which I was really super impressed with. So my distance control was really good with this driver as well. So from my longest to my shortest, there's only eight yards of difference between those two shots. So really quite a nice sort of tight carry distance. Now the sound and the feel of this club was, was a little bit more muted than maybe what I would say with the X. Maybe just the size of the head potentially, just changing that sound frequency slightly there, but a really good feel. It looked pretty explosive off the club face as well. Also, the ball speed was in and around where I'd sort of expect it to sort of be, to be honest. There was nothing that really jumped and goes, wow. The other bit I really enjoyed with the standard one was the stability. As I'd maybe I say, just caught one a little bit low. The spin went up, but the flight was really nice and sort of controlled. Didn't really feel like the flight was gonna get away from me left or right too aggressively. So stability-wise, forgiveness-wise, it's still good with that driver. And then finally, this was the one I was really excited to sort of hit is the triple down. Diamond. Now, much more compact in that shape of the head down by that golf ball. 450cc, but much more compact. We lose that alignment aid, so a very clean look and definitely sat very square to, if anything, slightly open at address. Nine degree head again, and I set that at nine degree, exactly the same shaft as I hit in these other two drivers. Now, I started the test off with the 14 gram weight in the back of the golf club. So typically that's gonna help with slightly hem higher MOI, little bit more of a launch, maybe a little bit more of a spin. And do you know what? It felt really good. The ball really got a more powerful flight, even with that weight in that back section of the club. So maybe that smaller head definitely give me some more forward ball flights. So what helped that slightly flatter ball flight was the spin just came down. So this averaged in and around that sort of 2000 on that spin. So just seeing that little bit less spin than against the standard paradigm, even with that 14 gram weight in the back. And the feel of this club face, again, just felt a little bit different. Maybe this head's getting a little bit smaller, weight's just changed a little bit. It felt very, very solid. Especially when I got the central strike, it just seemed to really rock it out there like an absolute bullet. And then I did just move my strike a little bit with that, and the results weren't that bad. You know, I was expecting maybe bigger misses, but obviously with that weight back, probably just helps a little bit with that forgiveness. And it was pretty controllable in terms of the shot direction and the stability, maybe just as I moved my strike. Now, obviously intrigued to put this into its what I would call its fiery mode, you know, moving that 14 gram weight now in the front, and that's exactly what I did in this last set of five shots I hit. So this is playing it in its strongest position. When we sort of say strongest, we would expect maybe see a little bit more ball speed, lower launch, lowest in the spin, in terms of what you're gonna get out of this particular driver. Now, as an average, my spin came down to 1700, so it was pretty low, but also my launch was in that low area as well. So this really did come out a little bit lower and spun a lot less. So it wasn't my optimum because I was dropping out the sky a little bit quicker. So my carry distance dropped off by nearly sort of 10 yards on an average there, down to sort of two, 63, but my total distance stayed up there because obviously it's gonna release. Now, what it lands on, we can't control. This is on a simulator, the rollout, isn't it? So, you know, time of year, conditions, up. if you're landing in uphill or if you're landing down, it's always gonna change that rollout, isn't it? But ultimately that carry distance did drop back because of my launch. Now, what I could probably do there is loft that up a little bit and maybe have another little test of that and that'll probably get me some better numbers. But what I would say is when I miss my strike, and there's a couple there where I did miss my strike, my spin just dropped off the absolute cliff. So I hit one just slightly toe again, like I did with the weight back, but I hit down to 1100 spin. It dropped out of the sky and it went left on me. So that's the only thing I would say, maybe when you start moving that weight forward, your miss hits are gonna get punished a little bit more. They're gonna be more drastic. Spin's gonna be changing and maybe off center hits will give you more off offline golf shots potentially with that weight forward. Okay, so, so for me to so really sum this up between those three drivers, what would I go for? I felt the most confident with the standard paradigm. I think just that little bit of forgiveness at the back of the golf club, the help with some adjustability that I could maybe match up with my strike patterns a little bit. I've still got obviously just a built in the neck sleeve. It sat really good and I think the flight just felt very, very stable to me. As much as I love going into that triple diamond and I hit a couple of little bombers in there, it's, what, it's the ones when I don't get it and maybe the days where I'm not feeling as good, my strike's just not good, I feel like I'm going to get a little bit more punished with this particular driver. So I think that footprint down by the golf ball gave me that bit of confidence. 
the, the knowing that I've got some weight in there, I think gave me a little bit of confidence as well. I, flung, I swung that pretty freely as well, and I really enjoyed the stability of that club, the sound of it, and actually the ball flight itself. So if you've tried any of the Paradigm lineup, let me know in the comments down below which one have you gone for and the reasons why I'd love to hear how you've got into that particular style of driver. Appreciate you watching the video as always, and hopefully we'll catch up with you all very soon.